10 Interesting Facts About the Red-Billed Oxpecker Oxpeckers are close relatives of starlings. This common starling is looking for ticks on a cow, much like an oxpecker would do. Their body is modified for clinging to animals. Oxpeckers have short legs, strong feet with curved claws, a flattened bill for scissoring through animal fur, using the scissoring action to locate ticks or other parasites. A long tail with stiffened rectrices for support, much like a woodpecker's tail. They eat blood, wound tissue, mucus, maggots, flies, ticks and insects. This one is drinking blood from the wound on a horse. And this red-billed oxpecker is cleaning a wound and drinking some blood on the nose of a cow. They eat wound tissue like mucus, maggots and flies around the wound. The oxpecker on the left is scissoring through the fur in search of ticks. Meanwhile, the one on the right is eating ticks from inside of the ear. This immature oxpecker has also learned to find ticks and insects on the fur. It catches a fly. They have a symbiotic relationship with the host animal. The host animal benefits by having all wounds kept clean of infection and ticks and ectoparasites removed. Meanwhile, the oxpeckers benefit by finding food on the host animal, like ticks, insects, ectoparasites and even sometimes blood. By keeping warm, by snuggling into the fur of the host animal in freezing cold weather, like this one's doing. By receiving protection from predators while sitting on the host animal. Besides food, the large host animal provides a safe place to sleep away from predators. And a safe place to preen. and a safe place to feed the juveniles. Oxpeckers are monogamous cooperative breeders with up to seven helpers. They nest in tree cavities like this euphorbia tree. Helpers near the nesting cavity entrance. Or even a hollow pole. This pair was nesting in this large hollow pole on a farm. Their favourite host animals are giraffe, rhino, kudu, zebra,
Elend. Buffalo. And even cattle. A young juvenile bird still with a yellow gape and a yellow bill. The juvenile's bill becomes brown after about two months. A two month old juvenile with brown bill. This one's bill is just starting to turn red and the eye ring is starting to form. This one's bill is just starting to turn red. The calls of the red-billed oxpecker. Red-billed oxpecker doing the typical hissing call. Chipping sounds given in between the hissing call. Red-billed oxpeckers were completely wiped out in the Eastern Cape by the early 1900s because of big game hunting in the 1800s. Their main host animals were completely wiped out. And the use of arsenic-based cattle dips in the late 1800s wiped them out completely from the Eastern Cape. Good news! Red-billed oxpeckers were reintroduced to game reserves and some private farms in the Eastern Cape in the period between 1990 to 2010. The light aeroplane that carried these oxpeckers, it was called Operation Oxpecker and it was based out of East London. Most of the oxpeckers came from the Kruger National Park. This map shows the current distribution of the red-billed oxpeckers in the Eastern Cape. These oxpeckers are thriving in the Eastern Cape again, a remarkable conservation success story. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and post any comments you have down below.